so as i told topic is symmetry see the definition of the symmetry once again one shape becomes exactly like another when you move it in some way that means uh, turn flip or slight one shape becomes exactly like another when you move it in some way some way means turn you may turn you may flip or you may slide then one shape will be the same as other so that is symmetry or we can say when two or more parts are identical after a flip slide or turn then now there are three basic types of symmetry as i told what are those line symmetry or mirror symmetry or reflection symmetry these are all same uh, then uh, other names for line symmetry we will call, sometimes we will call mirror symmetry and sometimes we call line symmetry as reflection symmetry and the second one is rotational symmetry and third one is point symmetry and in some uh, different examples for symmetry in our in our daily life in our daily life we find symmetry in various fields such as textile technology architecture here textile technology and architecture textile technology means upon your dresses you may see the same type of prints so those are all symmetrical prints and next in architecture in buildings so front shape of the building left side what will be some some houses you observed means left side what shape will be the right side also same so that is in architecture also we can see symmetry and moreover we also find plenty of natural objects having symmetry such as leaves take one leaf and fold it exactly in the middle look what the left side of that folded line then right side also same it will be that means leaf also having symmetry leaf leaf also having symmetry and the next face of person so i show on one doll face so clearly face of person also having symmetry means left side what parts will be right side also same parts of the human face and the next butterflies see the butterfly wings left side and right side what shape left side will be the same shape right side and same design right right side also so butterfly is the best example for symmetry and now one figure i took here so in this figure along with two vertices one line i drawn that means i divided these figure into two parts so this dotted line showing the division of these figure here two parts left side of the line dotted line and right side of the dotted line what will be the left side of this dotted line same will be the right side of this dotted line look left side the right side also same if you flip along with the dotted lines then the left side left side part will be overlap on right side part that means this figure clearly has symmetry so this is symmetrical figure and this dotted line is called line of symmetry line of symmetry that only i wrote here the above shape we can observe the dotted line divides the shape into two exactly identical parts the two parts on either side of the dotted line are such that they can overlap each other so we can say the figure is a symmetrical figure and the dotted line is line of symmetry and observe one note point here the figures which are having symmetry those are all called symmetrical figures 
the figures which are not having symmetry then those are all figures are called non symmetrical shapes or non symmetrical figures and one more name to that non symmetrical figures is asymmetrical shapes or asymmetrical figures means take l if you divide this l by using line and flip along with it along with that line then the same shape will not overlap on another part so that means l is a symmetrical shape same like that p also non symmetrical shape q also non symmetrical shape that means all things all shapes all figures will not have symmetry that means all are not symmetrical shape some of them will be symmetrical and some of them will non symmetrical shapes and next one more topic here in this one shapes having two lines of symmetry means uh, some shapes will have one line of symmetry that means this shape so here this shape is having how many line so this line dotted line i i told this dotted line we called as line of symmetry how many dotted lines here only one so this this shape have this this uh, so this this shape has one line of symmetry and some shapes may have more than one line it means some some shapes uh, will have two lines some shapes will have three lines some shapes will have more than three lines that means four lines of symmetry what those are all we will see so now the shapes having two lines of symmetry one line of symmetry shape we observed and now coming to the shapes having two line of symmetry i took one rectangle here a b c d is a rectangle i divided this rectangle horizontally horizontally through midpoint of ad and bc i divided so clearly the up and down parts are symmetrical parts same to same if you folded along with this dotted line then the down part will overlap up part so clearly a b c d is a symmetrical shape so it has up to now one line of symmetry next what i did here i divided this this shape that means they are divided this rectangle vertically vertically one line i drawn here that means i divided this rectangle along with midpoints of cd and midpoints of ab then left side and right side parts are symmetrical parts if you flip left side part along with this dotted line then it will overlap right side part that means it has symmetry so clearly this rectangle have two lines of symmetry one line is l vertical line one line is horizontal line m suddenly so i wrote here a b c d rectangle has two lines of symmetry each of which being the line joining the midpoints of opposite sides line l and m are the lines of symmetry of this rectangle abcd so as i told some shapes have one line of symmetry some shapes have two lines of symmetry and we'll see some shapes having three lines and four lines of symmetry also one more example for this shapes having two lines of symmetry rhombus rhombus i took here rhombus means its all sides are equal its all sides are equal 
but diagonals are not equal and now rhombus a b c d i divided these rhombus horizontally and vertically into four parts first horizontally into two parts see this line m this line m dividing rhombus into two parts the part a b d and the part b c d if we folded a b d part along with line m it, then it will overlap on part b c d and same as it is this is line l i divided this rhombus vertically then two parts again two identical parts we are getting a b c a d c if you folded a b d part along with the line l then this part will overlap on a d c part so that means clearly rhombus also having symmetry this is a symmetrical shape and moreover how many lines of symmetry it have it have two line m and line l that only i wrote here see rhombus a b c d has two lines of symmetry lines l and m are the lines of symmetry of rhombus a b c d and moreover rhombus is symmetrical about each of its diagonals through diagonals it is symmetrical and one more shapes having three lines of symmetry so first initially you saw the shapes having one line of symmetry then after that the shapes having two lines of uh, lines of symmetry and uh, now the shapes having three lines of symmetry this time i took one equilateral triangle equilateral means a triangle in which all the sides are equal that is equilateral triangle so now coming to this ab bc and c ac all sides are equal and now in this equilateral triangle so i divided i divided this equilateral triangle by line l this line l is a angle bisector here angle will be angle 60 angle 60 angle 60 equilateral triangle in equilateral triangle all the angles are equal that is 60 60 60 and the line which divides this angle into two identical parts is called angle bisector so now on angle bisector i drawn angle bisector of a this line is dividing abc into two equal parts and next one angle bisector of b i drawn this line also dividing abc into two equal parts and next one more angle bisector i drawn this line also dividing abc into two equal parts see here this is one and this is another one two equal parts so here for this figure that means for equilateral triangle three lines of symmetry will be that only i wrote here an equilateral triangle is a symmetrical about each of the bisectors of its interior angles about bisectors of interior angles these equilateral triangle is symmetrical and these lines it has three lines of symmetry what those line l line m and line l all the three are interior bisectors of its interior angles and now shapes having more than three lines of symmetry 